you need two things, so probably three. So one, you need to keep getting feedback from your salespeople. They will keep getting giving you feedback when, when they're speaking to customers. They're constantly speaking to customers. Two, of course, yourself. Sit down with some customers and do an unofficial survey, 10-minute call, or seeing what they think. But three, the problem, as I would say, the one which will give you more info would be to somehow include in the platform a, a feedback mechanism. So either a survey in the platform or rating parts of the experience. And, and that, that will gen- generate feedback in the background. Probably people will be a bit more honest because there's no human being in front of them which they, they think they need to say the right thing to. And because it will be shown to many people, you have the, the, the scale if it's shown to 50 people and 20% reply, you, you quickly got 10 replies. So uh, instead of having to do 10 calls, of course, the calls, it's, it's your way to do go in depth. And the feedback from the salespeople is, the, is to help them really sell this. So what, what's, what are they struggling with? So I would say, I would say thing on, on those three terms. So feedback from salespeople, your personal calls, when I'm saying yours, it's your the product team or whatever, someone who's not a salesperson, just speaking to the customer just to get feedback. And three, inside the platform to collect feedback, surveys, scoring. It can be as simple as uh, a net promoter score, so NPS, where, where you put a survey on a scale of 1 to 10, and then you put a, an open field where they can just write anything they want to say why they score that, or it can be a bit more of a structured survey where you have three, four questions for them to go through.